Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I am here to show you how we can create a log file for your Python script. So for this let us import a couple of modules. Import OS sys date time socket then we have sub process. Okay. Now let us uh, start with host name. Since uh, while exporting the logs will be having will be having as host name, will be having this current system date and time and then we'll go with the uh, output message hostname equal to socket dot get hostname okay save out equal to std out save out equal to sys dot std out next we'll go with the time time equal to date time dot date time dot now we'll be formatting it formatting this uh, date and time in some format so strf time percentile year percentile month percentile day percentile hour in it second okay next sister std out so we need to export the logs to some file so let us have that file name open okay say ping output plus time sorry we'll uh, we'll append our date and time we'll append this the current date and time to this uh, log file plus dot log Then I will format. Fine. Next, we'll go with the with open t ip dot txt. In readable format. That's fine. So basically, what I'm uh, basically what I'm going to do is. I'm going to fetch uh, the IP addresses from the this list and to ping each IPs and to see whether the hosts are alive or not. This outputs I want to export it to a log file. This is what actually I'm going to do. Let us see. So now it is it is asking for with open IP address. If there is an error, then it should show or else print host name. Okay. Then I should have what is the date and time. So date time dot date time dot now. Okay. Next we have the what is the error? What is the message? Reading say reading the text file. Okay. Next since the IP list are in string format in uh, list, so I will be converting those into list formats. T2 equal to dot join. Okay, now what I'm going to do is like strip for X in file. So I have already created some video in which we have a detailed description of detailed descriptions in how how to convert from string to list or string to dictionary or list to dictionary so if you need more help you can go through the video i will be mentioning that video link in my description box if you want you can go through it so t3 equal to t2 dot split let me have another print statement Host name didn't time now, so convert conversion of conversion of string to list. 
okay next once it is converted to list so for i in t3 for each item in uh, in the list try what it should try it should ping each ip using sub process module sub process dot p open ping dot exe then for windows we have minus uh, hyphen n and for linux we have hyphen c then how many of the packet you want to send one one packet only then for each ip okay next what you need to do is like uh, is equal to sub process dot pip pipe okay. now we need, we need we don't need the shell to be enabled so shell is equal to true the shell will not be enabled in this case then communicate Now, if there is an error, I need to capture that uh, error message in the format of. I need, I need to capture the error message via exporting this to ML log file. Uh, sorry. Accept socket dot error. I will have the print same print statement. Okay. Now, if there is no if there is no connection error, so I will go with the if else statement. If there are a couple of conditions are there. If these mats are met, then it will say the system is down, else the system will be alive. So if the if there is an output with a unreachable expired or timed out line, then the system will be then the host will be uh, think, uh, taken as a down, else they will be uh, alive. So if be unreachable, it's unreachable. Okay. Ingress. So what it should do is like client is down. Next client comma i comma is down. Okay. Next statement I will have if Wired. be expired in this if we, if we have this in that uh, study outline then we should print this down in a similar way for timed out if be timed out in a race else then client app is up. Now we need to save this file to export. We will save this file. Why? I, what is the command is for? Sys dot std out is equal to save out. Next, sys dot std out out equal to close. Sorry, so std out dot close. So let us uh, execute this program and see there is an error or not. Okay, I have something. Switch the rest is equal to save out. Uh, let me see where the error is. Oh, sorry. There is the error. Okay. Uh, Okay, I think uh, we have a wrong thing and we have need to put a time space out. Okay, so let us run the program. Okay, the program is run. So we'll be seeing, seeing the output here. 
say like one is up two is down seven is up this this is how we can export our printed output to the log file hope you have understood this video if you have liked my video please press like button and for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching